Making Chicago proud, Lucy Westlake recently set the record as the youngest American woman to summit Mount Everest. I think that bears repeating, okay? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> she just got home from her trip yesterday, and she is joining us right here on the 7 o'clock stream team. Lucy, congratulations. Welcome home. Thanks for joining us. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm, it's so good to be home. Oh my gosh, there's no, there's no feeling like it. And yeah, I'm super excited to talk to you guys today. Oh, we're so thrilled. We've been yeah. following you. We're more excited to talk We've to her. We've done several <laughs> stories on you as yeah. this journey has began. Uh, how, how are you tired? You just got back? <laughs> Yeah, I, I was napping before this actually because I just nap whenever I can. <laughs> right. Like my body is just like sleep, 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 sleep all the time. <laughs> yeah, plus the time change too. All right, Lucy, let's go back. Take us to when you get to the top of the mountain, those minutes before, the minutes after. What is the euphoria like? Yeah, the the greatest, like the most emotional moment for me was about an hour before the summit. Um, because the sun was just rising. We were at Hillary Step, which is kind of the, actually the hardest part of the day. But um, And I asked my Sherpa, I was like, how long do we have? And I thought we had like three more hours. And he said an hour. And I was like, oh, I, like I got this. Like I, That's when I knew. I was like, I know I'm going to summit. So And the sun was rising, so it was like the perfect scene. So I like I started like tearing up. It was, it was an emotional moment. Um, but then, I, of course, the summit, like, Oh my gosh, it was so gorgeous. And like, I, I was like, <laughs> I was just so surreal. I kept having to tell myself, like literally out loud that I, I was like, you did it, Lucy, like you did it. <laughs> it Incredible, <is>. yeah. <laughs> You're no stranger to climbing, right? We were looking at some, some video or some pictures from, from Instagram, uh, but why have you made this such an important part of your life? Yeah, I, I've been climbing since I was seven, so it's been it's been 11 years, and I've always loved adventure. I've always loved the mountains, um, but I I love more than anything is just pushing my limits, you know, like pushing myself as far as I can go mentally and physically. Like that's that's my goal on every mountain. Like the summit is amazing, but just just to have that. Yeah, that that it builds your grit, it builds your character, and it, it really changes who you are. Like the mountains have changed me so so much. Pushing yourself, determination, your mantra for life that limits are perceived. And you said you wanted to do this yeah. to inspire young girls to dream and pursue their adventures. But I heard that you used to be afraid of heights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually did, and that's like part of. Part of the reason like I love climbing is like it really it forces you to face your fears because there's there is a lot of danger involved there is mm. and um, I when I was little yeah I was afraid of heights and then I climbed this one mountain where there was like a knife edge like we were just on this like this ridge and you, either way like if you fell either way it was like it was over so it was it was really intense but then after I did that like I just gained so much trust in and in myself, in my abilities. So I, I haven't been afraid of heights since. So it's like, if I got, if I can do that, then. That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, men and women who have tried to make this trek have, have died. People have lost their lives trying to do this. Does any of that go through your mind as, as you're climbing, uh, as you get near the summit? Do you think about that? Was that in, in, in your mind at all? Uh, it was a little bit because there's mm. actually a body at the top. Well, not right at the top, but like you pass a body. So, um, so it's yeah, that's an intense moment. And and you know, like I know there's risk involved in the mountains. I've been around death before in the mountains, and it's it's just something that you kind of have to you have to like, have peace with. You have to know that that if you go into the mountains, there's going to be certain risks involved, and you have to decide if it's worth it for you. So. I mean, I have, but but I, I don't I don't want to die in the mountains. I don't. But but it's always a possibility, and and in life you just got to take risks. Like you could die walking down the street, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and I know you live by the Bible verse, Philippians 4:13. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And let's talk about that. You know, you go from the highest peak to high school graduation, of course, with a 4.6 GPA, graduating early. 
I mean, what can you not do, Lucy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I like me alone. I can do very little, but but it's like in that it's in my weakness that that he makes me strong. It really is. So that that's like, that's why I do all this. That's how I can do all this. And it's been. I mean, I'm so excited to be at graduation. I didn't think I was gonna make it. So being back here already, I we climbed Everest a lot faster than I thought. So yeah. I'm look at the so picture. You were gonna zoom, right? You were gonna have to zoom your high school right. graduation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the picture, I got like a picture for graduation. I was gonna post that like on the actual day instead. But now, now I'll get to actually go. This is amazing. Look at that picture. Tossing your cap up there on the tallest mountain, making history. What an incredible moment for you. We, we're so inspired to maybe go do something, move, climb a mountain, <laughs> run something. And speaking of run, I hear you're going to USC to be on the track team. Yeah, yeah, I am. That's kind of like my next adventure um, is USC. So I'm, I'm so excited. Fight on, fight on. What, what's next for you? You'll go. You'll obviously go, uh, go out to college. And and what are what are your aspirations? I mean, I don't know if I can say aspirations because you've already accomplished so much. But certainly, you have higher aspirations. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm definitely. I mean, I'll always continue to mountain climb. I love it. But the next kind of um, adventure for me mountaineering wise is I, I'm trying to do be the youngest person to do the Explorers Grand Slam yeah. which is kind of climbing to the top of every continent and then wow. also going to the North and South Poles so with Everest I've done five of the seven so I have two more I have Antarctica and Oceania so maybe um, I'm hoping I, I need to raise money like get sponsorships that's kind of like okay. I'm really I'm really trying to do that uh, but but if I do, if I raise enough money, I'm hoping to do it maybe next winter. I don't think you'll have any problem raising oh, any money. The Grand Slam, yeah, right. South Pole, North Pole, Antarctica. Real quick, talk about your crew, your team. I saw you posted a picture on Instagram of Pemba. How vital was your crew and team making this dream come true for you? Oh, so vital. I could have never, like, never, ever done it without them. And they're so supportive. I went with a group called Extreme Climbers. Um, that was like the name of of the group. Pemba's the the director, the leader, and he like we he jokes. He's like, I can do anything with a phone call, but like I don't think it's a joke, <laughs> honestly, from what I've seen. Like what? he really can. And my Sherpa is amazing. Um, Mingma, yeah, he. I mean, I would have I would have never made it without them. It's incredible. You wow. talk so much about those around you who I help. Know. So humble. Mm -hmm. You think you'd ever do it again? Honestly, yes. I. <laughs> I really want to get a group of like my friends to do it because I convinced I convinced I almost had a few people convinced to come with me but high school high school got in the way a little bit with that I mean we're not um, too busy but, we can tag yeah. along be yeah. part of the team next I'm, time, I'm in next for the time. adventure no way do you know how hard that is uh, I'll watch from afar yeah your tears you said you were Maybe crying base camp. hopefully right, they right. didn't they didn't turn into uh, frozen tears up there because it oh, was yeah. so Did you, cold. So I mean, you yeah. had to wear once you get to base camp, and then does is it oxygen from there on? Or are you wearing oxygen when you get to that point? Because I saw in the photos you, you have the mask on, and, and you have to really be sensitive to that because it's hard to breathe up there. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Actually, not from base camp, but from camp two, um, you have to. There's four camps in total above base camp. So basically, like at camp three, you're like sleeping, you're sleeping with oxygen, you start wearing it and start hiking with it after that. And that mask kind of like becomes part of you, which I did not like. I was not a fan of the mask. It was a little claustrophobic for me. Yeah, but, I understand. Um, but well, yeah, it's so vital. Lucy, we know you're working on the worldwide water crisis as well. But let's talk about before we say goodbye to you tonight. What do you do for fun? I mean, what <laughs> fun when you're not climbing and running track are, and yeah, breaking records. Senior, right? What do you do for fun? Honestly, any like I'll do anything with my friends. I just love being around other people, and I love do like nature, especially okay. like if we can if I can like get outside with some friends, uh, like I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. But I like I like artwork too. I did some artwork uh, oh, on the yeah. mountain. Uh, not not enough. Uh, I, yeah, that was uh, that's something I love as well. We, oh, we need yeah. to take her out for pizza, hamburgers, and some oh, ice cream and shakes. Some or of that food, yeah. <laughs> uh, Lucy Westlake, yeah. congratulations! Climbing 
Mount Everest as the young and woman, youngest yeah. American woman. We are so proud that you're from the Chicago area yeah. and that you spent some time with us tonight. Uh, congratulations. Your family and friends must be thrilled you're home safe. Yep. Grit, oh, grace, thank inspiration. You so much. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, for take your nap or just go to right? bed. Yeah, her, she probably like, uh, I don't know what time it is. And I know, right? So all the different time zones. And she's been gone almost a month, 26 days without her is, family. Is that, it, it's, is it, an, yeah. is it innate in certain people? Uh, the gift of of kindness and aspiration and and um, mm -hmm. recognizing, yeah. Because uh, she's, she's no, she's 18 years high old, um, and she has gone over to other countries working on the water crisis, yeah. uh, trying to help out that. But that's great parenting too. She has incredible parents, sure. and who've friends, instilled and in family, her yeah. giving back. Um, that's just that's so nice. humble and brilliant. 4.6 GPA, graduating high school early. Yeah. Um, so so many accolades, and she's just 18. Okay. Right. You graduate. Uh, don't go. Right. I don't want you to go. It's so hard. Oh. She makes it sound easy. She does. Uh, I, and and I, I wanted to ask, I, I didn't want to be macabre or anything about what she talked about, but people have lost their lives and yeah. are still up there. This is not some tiny right. molehill. This is the biggest mountain on earth. It's just yeah. incredible. It's mad. And she's done 50 others yeah. as well. Just Well, we're going <laughs> to follow her because she's still got to do, what did, what did she call the trifecta? The, the uh, Grand Slam. The Grand Slam. Right. So we still got some work to do and we'll continue mm -hmm. to follow her star because right. it is bright and it is rising quickly and fast we so love awesome. it we shine in the light on on something good and positive what an inspiration good to have what this a great week. way to go Wednesday yes, okay like all it. right yeah. hey if you like that video be sure to subscribe to our ABC 7 Chicago YouTube channel